Let's make sure everything's squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck, it should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lacour, if I... Sounds good. Let's go. You all right? Uh, oh, I can't drink anymore. That man's pretty drunk. I can smell the alcohol all the way over here. I'd say I've won this round. Can I get an answer to my question now? You do remember that you promised to tell me whatever I wanted if I beat you in a drinking contest. What? What do you want? Does the name Ernest ring a bell? He's a man with three eyes, just like me. Uh, nope. I never seen or heard of him. <laughs> he fell asleep. So nothing again? Well, not that I was expecting very much. 
I might as well try asking you guys next. Have any of you seen a man with three eyes? I think so, yes. Oh. Well, I knew that finding him wouldn't be easy from the start. Wait, you saw him? I don't know if he's earnest or not, but yes. When? Where did you see him? A little while ago, near Cross Castle. So he's at Cross? Ah, oh, that's right. I should at least introduce myself. My name is Opera. Opera Vectra. My name's Reina. Reina Lanford. Well, thank you, Reina. But I need to get a move on to Cross. If we ever meet again, I'd love to talk some more. We've come here today, Your Majesty, to consult with you regarding some important matters. Oh? And what would that be? Has a woman with three eyes visited you in the past? A woman with three eyes, indeed. I just concluded an audience with her, in fact. She came to ask me about a meeting I had with a three-eyed man several days prior. A man? Quite so. He had come seeking permission to enter the Mountain Palace. The Mountain Palace? Yes, it's the name we give to the cave by Lake Cole. It's been tended to by generations of castle stewards. You can find it north of the city. Opera can't be too far behind then. Indeed, I imagine she went to the Mountain Palace herself. Right after she heard my story, she asked for permission to enter. Um, would you be able to give us permission to enter as well? Oh, certainly. I must warn you, however, that you'll need to be careful. Monsters have taken up residence in the caves as of late. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Not at all. I will inform the guard about you post-haste. A gift for the road. Thank you, Your Majesty.
Tips. Ugh, why does this place have to be so dusty? It's driving me nuts. Well, we are in a cave. Hmm, that's right. You have a point. Oh, you're Reyna, aren't you? Can I... can I help you with something? Yes, actually. Do you have a moment? Hey, wait a minute! What are you two talking about? Oh, uh... Sorry, folks, but we aren't in that kind of relationship. Besides, I already have somebody in my life. My friend Ernest. He's actually an archaeologist. He ran off into the frontiers of space all of a sudden, saying it was for his research or something. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to track down his whereabouts. You do realize how dangerous this place is. Yeah, well... That's love, right? So, you think Ernest is in here somewhere? He should be. See? Look for yourself. This used to be a wall here. Judging by the remains, it couldn't have been destroyed very long ago. Makes sense. So I was trying to go deeper inside this cave. But I don't think I can make it through here by myself. Hey, would you guys mind sticking with me in here? You can have all the treasures, or whatever, along the way. What do you think, Reyna? Sounds like a plan. I say let's do it. What do you think, everyone? No objections here. Well, there you have it. You're on the team. Thanks, guys. You're really helping me out here.
I'm glad everyone's safe. That's worth Easy, huh? 10 out of 10. Easier than I thought. What happened here? Looks like Ernest's handiwork. A single shot from an AP3 plasma launcher. The Firefly, as we call it. Oh, that's some kind of gear he has. Outlawed throughout the galaxy too, I think. What are you talking about? We were just verifying the cause of death here. They're still alive! Typical Ernest. He didn't finish them off. monsters have lived here their whole lives? I'd imagine so, yeah. Sorry, guys. You were just trying to protect your home, weren't you? Look, you can't apologize to every monster you kill. There's not enough time in the world for that. If you sympathize with your enemy too much, it'll come back to bite you in the end. You're a very strong woman. Well, I have someone important waiting for me. I couldn't have made it this far without that sort of resolve. Let's keep going. Ernest might still be in here. Yeah. That's worth 10 out of 10. Whoa! 
What's all this stuff? A hidden laboratory. What was he doing here anyway? Are you saying he built this room? No, I think it's the king's private penthouse. What do you think I'm saying? I think this is the end of the cave, and it looks like Ernest is nowhere to be found. You're right. Now what will I do? Well, you could always join our group. Hmm. I could. I've lost the one good lead I had. Maybe I'll find another if I travel with you guys. We'd be glad to help you search for Ernest. It's easier to have a search party on your side instead of trying to look by yourself, isn't it? Thank you, everyone. Over.
over. Ten. Could that be? Well, what's it look like? My ship ran out of fuel, and this is where I crash landed. The thing's totaled, of course, so now I'm stuck here. That makes two of us, then. Oh, the same thing happened to you, Claude? I figured I had at least half a chance of getting back home with you, but I guess not. Sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologize. What are you two talking about, Claude? Oh, it's... it's nothing. Just some personal things. Opera. Oh, hey, Reyna. Just looking at a few accessories. Not that there's much to choose from around here, of course. I know what you mean. It's definitely not like it is in Cross. Still, I like how everything is done by hand. It gives it a kind of warmth. Done by hand? How else would you do it if you weren't using your own hands? Oh, uh... Yeah, you've got a point there. Um, but anyway, Reyna, do you ever do much accessorizing with your wardrobe? Oh, sure. I love accessories. I guess all girls love it. 
I don't have much money to spend, though, so I don't really have a big collection to choose from. Oh? I'm sure you could get any guy to buy you whatever you want, Reyna. You're cute enough for that. R really Hmm. Are you saying nobody's ever given you jewelry as a present, Reyna? I see. Why don't you start dropping some hints around the men in your life? You won't have to wait too long, no doubt about that. I know. Why don't you try Claude first? I don't think he'd have any problem filling a request from cute little Reyna. I... I don't know. Honestly, I'd be very happy if he did. Aha! The truth finally comes out. Well, I really would be. If that actually happened, of course. <laughs> oh, I love seeing young people in love. Everything seems so fresh and new when you're that age. Just show him how you feel, all right? You're still only 23 years old, Opera. No, I'm already 23 years old. Is that how you see it? Well, that's how it ends up, really. When you get older, all this stuff gets in the way. It gets harder to really lay your emotions out for everyone to see. So if you like Claude, you better call dibs on him while you still have the chance. He's got what it takes to be a really great guy. But how do you know for sure it'll happen? I'm not saying you should just sit and wait. You have to be together with him, polish him up, you know? Even if you had a hundred carat diamond in your hand, it's just a piece of rock until you cut it right. That's quite an analogy. I'm telling you as a friend with a lot more experience about life than you, so take it to heart for me, okay? All right. Reyna. Hello, Opera. What are you doing? Nothing much. Just looking around a little. Oh, say, Reyna, are you interested in making a little bet? A bet? Yeah, nothing big, of course. Let's try guessing whether the next person coming out of the store is a man or a woman. Easy, right? If I lose, then I'll do anything you tell me to. Sounds like fun. That's the spirit. I'm the one who challenged you, so you make the bet for me. Who do you think we'll see out of the shop next? A man or a woman? Hmm. I think it'll be a man. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, let's see what happens. Looks like I win. You sure did. I was keeping an eye on the shops around town. The jewelry store had a little of both, but there was nothing but women inside the weapon shop. Oh, so you had a good idea of how it would turn out from the start. Yep, that's why I let you choose first, of course. Huh, so you did. I sure did. So that's why I won. Hmm. Of course, even if you had bet on a woman to come out, I had an ace up my sleeve. Opera.
I picked up this handkerchief earlier. I wonder if it belongs here. Pardon me. Is this your handkerchief? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. I thought I lost it. Thanks a lot, lady. My name is Eleanor. Certainly. My name is Opera. Don't lose it again, okay? Okay. See you around. Hey, uh, Opera? You're a traveler, aren't you? I sure am. Is it fun? Well, a lot of it is fun, I guess you could say. A lot of it, though, not so much. I didn't exactly start traveling by choice, after all. Hmm. Why do you ask? I've been very sick ever since I was born. I haven't seen anything except for what's outside the window. So I thought, you know... If I can't see the whole world for myself, then maybe I could hear all about it from lots of different people. Oh. So I wanted to ask you, can you tell me what the outside world is like? Well, certainly. I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> Just ask me. Really? Thanks a lot, lady. Say, have you ever seen a rainbow? I sure have. Really? Was it pretty? Boy, I sure wish I could see one someday. Oh, Reyna! I'm glad I ran into you. I was just about to go look for you. I overheard the whole conversation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you. Listen, Reyna. Do you think you could cure Eleanor's sickness with your power? She's never left that bed her entire life. That's just sad. All right, I'll give it a try. Huh, what are you doing? It's all right. Don't worry. It's not working. I don't have enough power to cure this. Oh... I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault, Reyna. Sorry, Eleanor. I guess we don't have enough power to heal you after all. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I gave up on it a long time ago. I'm just happy I got a chance to talk to you. <laughs> 